So now we're going to be doing the second of the isometric transformations, and that's called a rotation. To do a rotation, you need a protractor, a ruler, and a compass. We're going to be rotating this triangle in this case. Sometimes it could be a quadrilateral or even something with four or five, five or six sides. We're going to be rotating that figure around this point here. Point O is indicated with the X, and point O is at the intersection of the X right there. We're going to be rotating 100 degrees. First step is to label each vertex point A, B, and C. I start by joining O to A, and there she lies. I draw a 100 degree angle on that line, placing the zero of the protractor on the line and the vertex at point O. And you've got to line that up carefully, and then you count your 100 degrees, you measure it right there, and I'm drawing line O. My new A is going to lie somewhere along there. Where? I, that's where the compass comes in. I jab the compass into point A, open the point, can you see, to vertex A, and then mark the new A prime on the other arm of the 100 degree angle. There's your A prime, label it clearly. Now I'm going to do point B. I join O to B, and just like I measured the 100 degree, now I measure the 100 degree from point B. Vertex always at point O. The line I just drew is on point O. There goes the bell, time for class. I measure 100 degrees, and my new B, I'm completing the 100 degree, B prime is going to be on that line. Where exactly? It has to be the exact same length as the line from O to B. That's the measurement of O to B, so there is my new B prime. I mark it clearly and label it as B prime. The last one, vertex C, I join O to point C. I take my Protractor, vertex, always, always, always on point O, and I have the zero on the line that I just drew joining O to C. You can see there's the zero. I go to 100 degrees, and my new C is going to be located on this arm of that angle. And where exactly is it going to be? We'll see in a second. I stick the point into O, I open it up to C, and whoops. I draw an arc, but I don't quite make it, so I'm going to extend this line, and voila, point C, and now the original goes from A to B, B to C, and back to A, so I copy the same pattern, A to B, B to C, and C to point A, and there we go. Triangle prime A prime, B prime, C prime is rotated 100 degrees from the original triangle ABC. Thank you. See you soon.